Hare Krishna and we're back with reading the book called On the Way to Krishna by His Divine Grace, Srila A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada and this is Shravanam Diaries Podcast and I'm your host, Sulalita Devidasi, at your service. Page number 45 Ye chaiva sattvika bhava rajasas tamasas chayi matta eviti tanvidhi Quote, All states of being, be they of goodness, passion, or ignorance, are manifested by my energy. I am, in one sense, everything, but I am independent. I am not under the modes of this material nature. Unquote. Bhagavad Gita 7.12 One may question Krishna in this way. Quote, You say you are sound, water, illumination, fragrance, the seed of all, strength and karma, desire. Does that mean that you exist simply in the mode of goodness? Unquote. In the material world, there are the modes of goodness, passion and ignorance. Thus far, Krishna has described himself as that which is good. For instance, sex and marriage, according to religious principles. But what about the other modes? Does Krishna not exist in them? In answer, Krishna replies that whatever is seen in the material world is due to an interaction of the three modes of material nature. Whatever can be observed is a combination of goodness, passion, or ignorance. And in all cases, these three states are produced by me. Produced by me, in quotes. Like, they are produced by Supreme Lord. Because they are produced by Krishna, their position is in Him, but He is not in them. For Krishna Himself is transcendental, to the three modes. Thus, in another sense, bad and evil things which are produced out of ignorance are also Krishna when they are applied by Krishna. Now, this is very important. Like, let's focus. How is this? For example, an electrical engineer is producing electrical energy. In our homes, we are experiencing this electrical energy as coldness in the refrigerator or heat in the electric stove. But at the power plant electrical energy is neither cold nor hot. The manifestations of this energy may be different for the living entities. But for Krishna they are not different. Therefore, Krishna sometimes acts on what appears to be the principles of passion or ignorance. But for Krishna, there's not, nothing but Krishna. Just as for the electrical engineer, electrical energy is simply electricity and nothing else. He makes no distinction that this is cold electricity and this is hot electricity. Everything is being generated by Krishna. Indeed, the Vedanta Sutra confirms Adhato Brahma Jagyasa Janma Dhyasya Yataha Adhato Brahma Jagyasa Janma Dhyasya Yataha Of course, these are two different sutras. Everything is flowing from the Supreme Absolute Truth. What the living entity is considering to be bad or good is only so for the living entity, for he is conditioned. But because Krishna is not conditioned, for him there is no question of good or bad. Because we are conditioned, we are suffering from dualities, but for him everything is perfect. I would really want this message to come across in the proper way. I'll just say one sentence is that really just 
how to say, we should keep our focus on the fact that for Krishna, there is no difference. But it doesn't mean that if we personally commit some bad things and we're saying that, you know, oh, I am beyond, <laughs> I'm transcendental, so for me, no question of good or bad, no. That's why, if you really want to understand this point, how is it that for us, you know, killing someone is bad. <laughs> like, especially if we're doing it not in mode of goodness, meaning out of sense of duty because of... But in mode of passion, duty and justice, and not according to modern material man-made in like laws but according to the higher proper we're going into the uh, direction of Vedic state law and justice but I'm just saying that for a, like serial killer killing and if the Lord himself personally decides to kill and he was killing demons it's not the same and we can't say that we're doing it um, in the name of God that we can just do this thing it's like it's a really different um, different dimension that is discussed in here and I just wanted to make that point because the next chapter that we're about to start is called uh, the roads of the foolish and the wise chapter 4 Krishna is thus explaining himself as he is yet we are not attracted to him. Why is this? The reason is given by Krishna himself. So this is the reason we are not attracted to God. Quote, Quote, this divine energy of mind consisting of the three modes of material nature is difficult to overcome. But those who have surrendered unto me can easily cross beyond it. Unquote, Bhagavad Gita 7.14 The material world is pervaded by the three qualities of material nature. All living entities are influenced by these qualities. If they are primarily influenced by the mode of goodness, they are called brahmanas. And if they are influenced by the mode of passion, they are called kshatriyas. If they are influenced by the modes of passion and ignorance, they are called vaishyas. And if they are influenced by ignorance, they are shudras. This is not an artificial imposition due to birth or social status, but is according to guna, or the mode of nature under which one is operating. Chaturvarnyam maya srishtam guna karma vibhagasha Tasya kartaram apimam vidya kartaram avyayam Quote, according to the three modes of material nature, and the work ascribed to them, the four divisions of human society were created by me. And although I am the creator of this system, you should know that I am yet the non-doer, being unchangeable." Unquote. Bhagavad Gita 4.13 It is not that the system refers to the perverted caste system in India. Big, big, big underline, double underline and highlight. This system does not refer to the perverted caste system in India. Sri Krishna specifically states Guna Karma Vibhagasha. Men are quali qualified, classified according to the Guna or the mode under which they are operating. And this applies to man all over the universe. When Krishna speaks, we must understand that whatever he says is not limited, but is universally true. He, claim, he claims to be the father of all living entities, even the animals, the aquatics, 
the trees, plants, worms, birds and bees are all claimed to be his sons. Sri Krishna asserts that the entire universe is illusioned by the interactions of the three qualities of material nature. We are under the spell of that illusion. Therefore, we cannot understand what God is. What is the nature of this illusion? And how it, it can be overcome? That is also explained in Bhagavad Gita. That is explained in Bhagavad Gita. So repetition is the mother of learning. Quote, this divine energy of mind, consisting of the three modes of material nature, is difficult to overcome. But those who have surrendered to me can easily cross beyond it. Unquote Bhagavad Gita 7.14 no one can get rid of the entanglement of the three qualities of material nature by mental speculation. The three gunas are very strong and hard to overcome. So mental speculation cannot do. Can't we feel how we are in the grip of material nature? The word guna mode also means rope. When someone is bound by three strong ropes, he is certainly very tightly secured. Our hands and legs are all bound by the strong ropes of goodness, passion and ignorance. Are we therefore to abandon hope? No. For there, Krishna, Sri Krishna promises that Whoever surrenders unto him is at once free. Haribo! When one becomes Krishna conscious, whether in this way or that way, he becomes free. We are all related to Krishna. We are all his sons. A son may have a disagreement with his father, but it is not possible for him to break that relation. In the course of his life, he will be asked who he is and he will have to reply, I am the son of so and so. That relation cannot be broken. We are all sons of God and that relationship with him is eternal. But we have simply forgotten. Krishna is all powerful, all famous, all wealthy, all beautiful all knowledgeable, and he is full of renunciation as well. Although we are friends of such a great personality, we have forgotten it. If a rich man's son forgets his father, leaves home and becomes mad, he may lie on the street to go to sleep, or he may beg money for food, but all of this is due to his forgetfulness. If, however, someone gives him information that he is simply suffering because he has left his father's home and that his father, a very wealthy man and owner of vast property, is anxious to have him return, the person is a great benefactor. In this material world, we are always suffering under the threefold miseries. The misery is arising from the body and the mind, from other living entities, and from natural catastrophes. Being covered by illusion, by the modes of material nature, we do not take account of these miseries. This is one of the most Krishna Chaitanya, I don't know, sometimes like these days it's like not prestigious to take account of the miseries that we're going through. Some people who are just like honest, they are just 
openly saying that about the miseries of this material life and um, threefold miseries of the material world but generally how you say acknowledging miseries is not mainstream let's say being covered by illusion by the modes of material nature we do not take account of these miseries however we should always know that in the material world we are undergoing so much suffering one has one who has sufficiently developed consciousness who is intelligent inquires why is he suffering quote i do not want miseries why am i suffering unquote when this question arises there is chance for becoming krishna conscious Haribo. yes i remember that it's i think bhaktivinoda thakur he's he described that when devotees they they share uh, this mercy of you know sharing some food offered to the lord or sharing some spiritual knowledge sharing some uh, chanting the holy names in front of other people they get sukriti they get this piety and at the time usually when they suffer because they stop sense gratification at that time it starts fructifying and and here Prabhupada also says that if you as soon as you acknowledge that you suffer as soon as you acknowledge that you're not supposed to, it's not supposed to be this way there is a very good chance to become krishna conscious haribo so thank you so much for tuning in today the link to this book is in the description and we shall see you next time Hare krishna please share this book with your friends give them a good chance to become god conscious Hare krishna